Let's get to another ACC game. Number three, UNC at Miami tomorrow. If UNC reads their press clippings, which I've accused them of, tomorrow should be a pretty bad day for Miami. It seems like when the world hypes up UNC, they hear it, right? And then they play their worst basketball. They climb into the top three. Everyone talks about how awesome they are. Everyone talks about R.J. Davis being a National Player of the Year candidate. Everyone talks about how the ACC is a a big muck of of, uh, parody, and then UNC above it, boom, they lose to Georgia Tech. They beat Duke emphatically. Everyone goes, ha-ha, that Georgia Tech loss didn't matter. They're still the best team in this. They're a national championship contender. Boom, they lose to Clemson. So it seems like they they read their own press clippings, right? They hear everybody saying how awesome they are, and then they get humbled. Well, if that's the case, it works in reverse also, right? If you're somebody that searches for your name on Twitter – You are somebody that searches for your name on Twitter, which means you see the good and you see the bad. Everyone's been knocking them for a bad loss versus Clemson. That should mean we're about to get the full top-level, impressive UNC experience against Miami tomorrow. Right? If awesome press clippings lead to an overconfident UNC, then negative press clippings should lead to an extra-motivated UNC. Armando Baycott has been playing well, but the rest of that roster need to bounce back after a tough Clemson game, and and I'm looking forward to it. I want to see Harrison Ingram uh, take out some frustrations. I want to see Cormac Ryan get back to doing what he does best, which isn't being the leading scorer on the team or taking the most shots, but but being the hard-nosed, do-everything glue guy. Baycott, I don't really have notes. Maybe maybe, uh, defensively he can step it up, but he's going off a couple 20 and 10 double-doubles you're not going to hear a lot from me. 20-plus, 10-plus double-doubles. Not going to hear a lot from me. But Miami should have a rough day tomorrow. If they don't, we'll have to reevaluate quite a bit, but they should have a rough day tomorrow if, if UNC does what they should.